Police said the child had a handgun in the classroom and that they took that student into custody. We now have a photo of the six-year-old accused of shooting his first grade teacher at a Newport News Virginia elementary school this month. Teachers say they were warned the day of the shooting that a child had a gun. The first grade teacher, Abby Zwerner's attorney, is speaking out. She says the educator is now out of critical condition and has been released from the hospital and the teacher intends to sue the school district. According to the teacher's attorney, over the course of a few hours, a school administrator at the school had been warned by concerned teachers and employees. On that day, over the course of a few hours, three different times, three times, school administration was warned by concerned teachers and employees that the boy had a gun on him at the school. This six-year-old boy was taken into custody January 6th when he brought his mother's legally purchased gun to the school in his backpack and shot his first grade teacher in the chest. The bullet went through her hand first and lodged there. Police say the shooting was intentional and Zwerner's attorney is filing a lawsuit on behalf of the teacher because they say the shooting was preventable. A bit before 11.30 a.m., Zwerner informed an administrator the six-year-old boy had threatened to beat up another child. Around 12.30, another teacher told the administrator she believed the student put a gun in his pocket and took it out to recess. The claim is the administrator said the boy's pockets were too small to hold a gun. Then, 30 minutes later, a third teacher claims to have told the same administrator another child had showed him a gun during recess and threatened to shoot him if he told anybody. Then a fourth employee asked permission to search the boy's backpack and pockets but was denied. As a matter of fact, teachers cannot search children's backpacks or pockets at most schools due to parents sending their kids to schools but distrusting the people they trust to teach them more than eight hours a day in schools. Even if there's a claim the child has a gun. Zwerner was shot almost an hour later. She was shot with the six-year-old's family's gun. It belonged to the mother and had been legally purchased. Now the parents say they were supposed to go to school every day with the child because of prior discipline problems. They weren't at school the day of the shooting though. The police chief has indicated the boy's mother could possibly face charges in the shooting. Under Virginia law, it's a misdemeanor for an adult to leave a loaded, unsecured firearm in such a way it could endanger a child under the age of 14. It is also prohibited for a person to unknowingly allow a child under the age of 12 to use a firearm. The school district is scheduled to fire the current superintendent, George Parker III, because of the shooting, and the school is scheduled to reopen January 30th. That's nearly a month after the shooting. The shooting at Ricknick Elementary was the first in 2023 at a U.S. school. There were 60 shootings at K-12 schools in 2022. There have been three other shootings in which the suspect was as young as this one. One in 2000, 2011, and 2021.